Now we've learned that in B, have you B enough B for the future tense? Now here it has become the habitual tense in this lesson here, we're going to use it. The difference being is that it's something that you are in habit of doing, like drinking tea every day, drinking coffee or having a dram every day. These kind of things that you have in habit of doing, we use this verb here. So be me a gall tea, you, have me a gall coffee, do. So what have you noticed in that? I noticed that tea seems to be feminine and coffee seems to be masculine. You're bang on. That's right. That's <laughs> correct. So be me a gall tea, you, have me a gall coffee, do, is I drink black tea, I do not drink black coffee. Now I got a question for you, Abayadad, because mm -hmm. genders are always kind of tricky. Um, <clears throat> are there regions in Scotland where the genders are not the same? Like they, they don't keep the same gender for all the nouns, it varies in the region? Or it varies in the region, yes. There can be some nouns that are masculine and feminine, believe it or not. The same noun can be masculine and feminine. <laughs> Please don't ask me what to explain. I have no idea. But the, 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 you can have words that are masculine and feminine. So it can depend on the region. And, but the ones I'm giving you, just learn them the way they are. <laughs> I'm trying to be as helpful as I can with it. So be me a, so be me a gold tea, you. Have you me a gold coffee, do. And that's proved that tea is feminine and coffee is masculine. Well noted, Mike, that's good. So be me a geish jock re radio nigel a hulwa is I listen to the radio, the Highland radio every day. So that's a habitual <coughs> occurrence. But at the moment, if I was listening to the radio, I would say ha. Ha me a geish jock re Radio and Gale in the Rasta. I am listening to Highland Radio just now. That comes with practice, and it's the, the only way we can get <coughs> is to learn that it's not always ha. In be you play sports, do you play sports? B, be me a cloy bowl kosher. Bowl kosher being the ball. the ball of the foot. Football. Have you me a clue rugby? I do not play rugby. Okay, John, and be you a clue about kosher? Have you me a clue about kosher? Okay. Pauline, and be you a clue tennis? It sounds just the same as in Gaelic, but spelled a different bit. And be you a clue tennis? Have have me a clue tennis. Eva. Caroline, and be you a clue tennis? Uh, be, be me a clue tennis. Eva, well done. Mark, and be you a clue ball kosher? Abi, have be me a clue ball kosher. Eva, well done, that's great. And be you a clue in your cure? Inyal cure is the instrument of music, which is a musical instrument. Kyal is the word for music. But in there, that cure is the genitive case of the word. So it's the instrument of music. So in be u a kluch inyal cure, do you play a musical instrument? B, be me a kluch a piano, gachwa, or a hulala. Yes, I play the piano every day. And be you a cloich a guitar, John? Javi. Uh, Javi. A cloich guitar. guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And you is the fiddle. Pauline, and be you a cloich in year? Oh, happy, happy be a cloy canoe. Cleva. And be a cloy if you know, Caroline. 
Okay, so you're getting the construction of how that works. So if it's something that you do regularly, this is the verb we use. B, Javi, nach B, B. If you're only doing it at this matter of time, it's ha. If you're playing the piano just just now, it'd be ha mi akluchi piano and raste. So is that making a wee bit of sense to you all? Yeah. 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 That's great. You picked that up really quite well. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to ask you catch. Queer. Catch a verto yensi. We've learned gensi as your jumper. So catch it, and notice I've taken out the E, that's the way it catch it, is the spelling of it, but I've taken it out the E and put the apostrophe in, so that the word, the sentence flows and go, catch it, it again, see. Ha e e reward. So then I've showed, shown you what I've done there. Ha e e reward. You've shown me that it's feminine. No, I've shown you that it's masculine. Oh, that's right. E <laughs> okay, so I'll show you that Gensi is masculine. So ha e e reward. Catch of the lane, where is your shirt? Ha e e reward. It is on the table and it's e because lane is feminine. Okay? Now, that word here, e reward, is how I see it. If you're in Harris, they'll say e reward. You add on an S in between the R and the D. Erevorst. Spelt the way you're seeing it there, but that's how they'll see it. So that's what makes Gaelic interesting with all these different sounds. Um, <clears throat> so they, they, so if you hear me say they and you want to say J, I don't mind. But you know, I'm naturally going to say they all the time. So de na dahan a ha erto yensi. De na dahan a ha erto yensi. What are the colours on your jumper? So if you've seen somebody with a lot of lot of colours, you say ime gahoch. Ime gahoch. De in da a ha erto vrikish. What colour are your trousers? Brikish. Harstan, tartan trousers, Brigish Harstan, and Brigish is masculine mm. or feminine? Masculine. No, it's feminine. Broken, <laughs> broken. Because it's lunated. All yes. right. So Brigish and Brigish is feminine. And when you see that it's lunated, that will give you the clue that it's feminine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, yeah. we all make these mistakes, so don't worry about that. But that's just another practice thing. If it was Gensi, your Gensi is masculine. masculine. So the Gensi Pashta. All right? Okay. De in Shorsa car a hagged is what kind of car do you have? Hakar Shaum Asante Agam. I have an old-fashioned car. Or can your car agam? I don't have a car. So they ensure the car a hagged. Mark. Um, I would say hakar uh, Toyota agam. Okay. 